Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another red truck haul to share with you guys. I have some other things that I picked up here and there, so I'll tell you guys where I got each item from, as well as like the pricing on the item. I will also have any kind of products that I purchased online linked in the description box below, just in case you were curious where to purchase those items. I think there's only one item that I actually purchased online though, so or one store from, so it was Kohl's. So we have things from Kohl's today. We have things from the Dollar Tree. We have things from the Dollar Store. And then I have some things from our local hardware store. So there's a variety again. So I hope you guys are enjoying these red truck hauls. I cannot wait to decorate, honestly. I am actually feeling very festive today in my cute shirt that I found at Walmart. This is really cute. It's got that Sherpa type of material right here. And then it's got the red truck, or not red truck. This reminds me of red truck. That's why I said that. So it's got the buffalo check type of print on here. I love this shirt. I think it's really cute and comfortable. So the first thing we'll go ahead and do is something that matches my shirt is a wrapping paper. So I picked up this wrapping paper because I think I'm going to use this style of wrapping paper as well as some accessories to go along with my red truck theme because I feel like it just matches really well, especially for the country style of the red truck. So this is going to be my wrapping paper along with this one right here which is this one here I got. This one was at the Dollar Tree and this one was at the Dollar General. So that one was a dollar and this one was I think a dollar as well. But this one's blue and then it's got little red trucks all over it. So do you see the little red trucks? And it's got green trucks as well. So I just think it's cute. So and for a dollar, how do you beat that? The Dollar Tree also had wrapping paper as well, but it it was all gone so I couldn't find any of that it was green with the little red trucks all over it but I couldn't find it so unfortunately didn't get that one the next thing is the other truck that was missing from Walmart so here's what it looks like isn't that so cute I love all the metal detail on here I think these are so adorable these are 474 so they're only they're less than five dollars and I feel like they're very detailed for five dollars I think they're definitely worth it so these like I told you guys in the last video I think I'm going to use these to make some wreaths out of I haven't finished making all of my home decor for it yet so I'm still in the process of making things I hopefully I can get it all done in time for the holiday if not then I'm just going to be busting my butt trying to get it done before Christmas so we're going to work hard so I'm going to set that one over here. The next thing is from, let's see, I'll go ahead and do another thing from Walmart. So I picked up this from Walmart. Look at this. This is a little oven mitt, but it's got a cookie mix inside of here. This has got the sugar cookie mix inside of here, and this is $5. You've got the oven mitt with cookie mix inside of here. This would make a really great gift for someone you know that likes red truck stuff. So this is so cute. It's got the little black dog in the back of here. It's got the tree and everything. It is just super cute detail. This one feels very heavy duty as well. The one from, what is it, the Dollar Tree? Or no, 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 Dollar General. That one is like not super thick, so you might burn your fingers with that one. This one, I don't think you would. I think you'd be pretty safe with this one. And again, it was only five bucks. So I picked up two of these because I like having doubles of things. The next thing is, do we have anything else from Walmart? We do actually, so let me grab those things. Uh, hang on. So the next thing is actually something that my whole family loves this, so I had to get two of these. This is their popcorn tin. So they have the popcorn tin, but I didn't realize right away, but this has the red truck as well on it. So if you can see the red truck in detail back here, and then it's got the puppies, the little loud puppies, and then it says Merry Christmas, kind of like graffiti written on it. This is so cute and five bucks. So this will be perfect to store all of my red truck stuff in after we've eaten the popcorn. So I can put some things in here to store away for next year, but this is just really cute. So I thought that was adorable for five bucks. And who doesn't like popcorn, especially the caramel one in here. The caramel one's delicious. It's got caramel got cheddar and then the original just regular butter popcorn so it's good then I got two of these we have two of these Merry Christmas pillows these are not like real well made or anything the materials feels weird it's like almost like nylon like almost like pantyhose so I don't love the actual material to this but these were only five bucks at Walmart so I thought that would be cute just to kind of toss around on one of my couches or something so and again good deal at Walmart. You can find some really cute red truck stuff at Walmart. So if you have a Walmart near you, definitely check it out because there's tons of stuff there to be found. The next thing we'll move on to is, oh, let me pick this basket back up. Oh, we have another thing in here from Walmart. So we have this as well. This is just a little red truck that looks like it's been broken down or something. So the people are working on it. So it's just really cute detail. And this actually lights up. So let's pull this out and I'll show you how it lights up. Um, there we go. Maybe. 
Oh, the battery's dying in it. Oh, dang, damn it. it's already dying, and somebody must have been playing with it. So the battery's dying, but there's a little light under the hood here. It's not really dying, it's kind of on, so you can see like a reflection on the guy's face a little bit. So there's what it looks like. This was, I think this was like $5.92, so this was like 6 bucks. This was actually kind of pricey for the size of it and everything, so I'm not sure this was a good deal, but it's red truck and I had to have it. The next thing is some blankets I picked up at the Dollar General. So these are $5 blankets, but they had a buy one get one half off and it's just the the buffalo check pattern. I thought they'd be cute to throw on the back of my chairs along with my red chart pillows. So just some little cozy like lap blankets. So that's basically what I wanted them for just to kind of toss across your lap when you're sitting down watching TV or whatever. They're nothing real thick or anything like that, but they're good for a lap. The next thing is from the Dollar General as well. We have some more of this buffalo check ribbon. I'm going to be using that to make the wreaths with as well as along with my other ribbon that I have that had like the little red truck on it because I think that this in combination with the little red truck for the wreath is going to be awesome. So that is so cute. Sorry about that guys, I had to sneeze. So now we're on to some more things from the Dollar General. So this here, sorry I'm trying to move things around again. So this is just a little bucket. I picked up three of these. They look like they're like the wood grain. I don't know if you can tell it or not, but it's supposed to look like wood grain. And then it's got the little red truck here. And then it says Christmas tree farm established in 1974, fresh cut trees. This is so cute. So I picked up three of these because I'm going to put them. We have like a, like a, like a mudroom area type of thing. It's not really a mudroom. It's just, it's our kitchen, but there's like a little area where we have like a bench that you can put this on top of. And I figured it'd be great for people to just toss their odds and ends into because that's typically where people just kind of put their, like, it's like a junk catch-all area. So this will be perfect to sit there. So they're just easy to wash out if somebody happens to spill something in as well since they're plastic. So those were only five bucks. So those were five bucks at the Dollar General. Then we're moving on to Dollar Tree. So at the Dollar Tree, they had these super cute boxes. These are not typical boxes. As you can tell, they kind of go down at a slant, but they do have the little red car on them. That's not the little red truck, but it is the little red car, and I'm okay with that. I don't mind that it's not the little red truck. The snow has got like a holographicness to it, and it's textured. So the snow is textured on here, so they're very cute. So I did get two of those. I'm trying not to drop anything. I got two of those boxes because they would just look cute stacked together sitting on the shelf or something. I just think they're adorable. I love the little boxes they have at the Dollar Tree because they're so, for a dollar, how do you beat that for all that detail work into them? I think it's just a fantastic find. The next thing at the Dollar Tree is this right here. This is a gift card holder. So it's just a little card holder that you can put money into. I am going to utilize it, but for a little bit, it'll be for decoration because I'll just stick it under the tree and it'll decorate underneath the tree. So it's got the little truck and then it's got the little snowman on here. The snowman is like 3 d would So again, at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Then we have some bags from the Dollar Tree. So I got a bunch of these. So these, I got a lot of cookie bags last time, but they were like shaped almost like a, an hourglass almost. These are different. These have little handles on them. So these have the little handle on here and then it has the little red truck and it says Merry Christmas. It's just like the cups that I did last time. So it looks just like the same design, but you get six of these little loot bags. I'm not sure I've ever seen somebody give out loot bags at Christmas, but we can use them for cookies and stuff. So I got how many packs of these did I get? I got five packs of these, so we've got plenty of little loot bags. So even if I don't use them all this year, I can definitely use them again next year because I think I'm going to carry on the Red Truck tradition for a little bit longer, try to add more to it. So these can be utilized either this year or next year. They're not going to go bad. It's a bag. The next thing is from the Dollar Tree as well. Hang on, it's stuck with something here. So this is from the Dollar Tree. These are just a group of three bags here. So you've got three here and one of them happens to be a Santa and a little red truck. Isn't that so cute? They're real tiny. They're not real big bags or anything, but it's cute. It's got the little red truck with a little tag. So you've got the little red truck, you've got Santa with some gifts, and then you've got the over the snow we go, it says, over the snow we go. And then there's three of these. They are four by six and four by six six by two and a half and there are three of them for a dollar so another great deal the next thing is this right here this came from the dollar general and this was two dollars look at this this is so cute i thought it'd be cute to hang like we have like a little porch light area so i think i'm going to hang this close to the porch light area because it does have like the little chime to it 
I think it's just cute. It has a lot of glitter that's falling off though. So if you get this, I would definitely spray it with some hairspray because that'll help to lock in all the glitter so the glitter's not going everywhere. Especially if you're going to put it outside because it probably will get, well, get washed off. So I don't know how well that's going to weather outside. We'll see. The next thing is from the Dollar General and this was $3. This is just a little wooden sign. So it's like hollow on the one side and there's just a little wooden sign that you can put up. It says home for Christmas on here. Isn't that cute? I think it's so adorable. But this is wood though. So this is actual solid wood. I like when you find wooden things because I feel like they'll last a little bit longer. And then we have some towels. So this set here I picked up at Walmart. And this was, I think these were like three something. So you get one here that has kind of like that bag that we had last time. So it looks sort of like that. And then we have the little truck one and it says dashing through the snow. I love these. These are going to go into the kitchen because I did get some also for the bathroom because I'm doing my entire upstairs area in the red truck theme. Whoops. The next thing is a, another box from the Dollar Tree. So this one says have yourself a merry little Christmas. It looks exactly like that cup again. There's mugs that I found at the Dollar Tree and it does, it's like a little flat box. I don't know the, the dimensions of this. It seems pretty big. It's probably at least like an eight by six or something like that. It's a pretty good sized box and the lid does come off. You could also use, the inside's really pretty too. You could also just use the lid as like a wall hanging if you didn't want to actually use this on as a box. But I'll probably just put it under the tree as a gift because it's going to look cute sitting underneath there with all my other little red truck stuff. Then we here have something from Kohl's. So at Kohl's, they had this runner. This is a table runner. Let me take it apart here for you. That would probably be helpful. So this table runner right here is not very long. It's like a shorter table runner. So it has the red truck here and it's got snowflakes and then it's got another little red truck. I think it's only a three foot long table runner. 36, yeah, 36 inch table runner. And this is $25, but Kohl's always has sales. So just know to save your coupon because Kohl's usually hands out like a 30% off coupon. So use your 30% coupon along with when they have sales. Cause I know I paid way less than $24 for these. It was like maybe $12 for this or something. It was definitely way less than 24. So that's just really cute though. I think it's adorable. Then I did find some actual table mats instead of the ones that I got at the dollar general I'm still going to use the ones I got at the dollar general they'll be like for the day to day but then for Christmas dinner we can use these I got these from Kohl's as well it was a four pack for $24 so they match the table runner exactly so we have the table runner and then we have the little table mats I got eight of these so it was a pack of four for $24 so I picked up two of those but again these were on sale so I got these for I think it was like $12 so it was 24 for all eight then so it's a really good deal in my opinion the next thing are some towels. Now these are going to go in my bathroom because I want to have some hand towels to use for your fingers and things. So these are a pack of five kitchen towels it says, but we're going to use them for the bathroom like I said. So we're going to use these here that have a little red truck on them and it says pine trees and it's got this shade of blue. My bathroom is about that shade of blue so it's going to go good in my bathroom. It has some plain towels in here as well. So it's got the plain brown. So it's got three of the truck and then two of the plain brown. So I got two packs of those. So they're my bathroom towels. So we're prepared there for people to wash their dirty fingers. The next thing are some napkins to go on the table. I'm just hoping these are going to go good with this table mat. So here's the table mat again. So here's what the table mat looks like. And then I picked up these little Buffalo check table, um, not table. <laughs> these are the napkins. So I'm going to, I have started making my own napkin rings. So these are going to go with this. I'm sure it'll look fine. It'll look all festive once we put it all together. But I got eight of these and these were $25 as well for, for four. So 25. So again, these were 25 for four of these or $24.99. So, but then you have your discount. So make sure you're using your discounts. And if you shop online, use Ebate so you can get some more cash back. So these, I cannot wait to decorate the kitchen. Honestly, that's going to be my favorite area to decorate in the house. I'm super excited. Then I did get some more little towels. I'm not sure if I'm going to use these in the bathroom or if I'm going to use these in the kitchen. I'm thinking the bathroom just because they feel very soft. So it says season greetings and the actual truck is like almost like an iron on it feels like. It's really nice. And then the back other towel has got little Christmas trees all over it. These are just so cute. And these were $13.99. So of course your discounts on top of that. Then, um, 
I have two items that I kind of put together so far. I have more that I need to show you guys, so I'll do that like all in one haul of all the things that I make for the Red Truck stuff, but I also have this. This is something that came, it was a Christmas card, and I thought, you know what, this would be a really cute little picture just to sit around. So I cut the Christmas card in half, stuck it in a frame, so now we've got a cute little piece of framed artwork. Isn't that so cute though? Look how pretty this is, the detail to it. I think it's just so pretty. So if you have Christmas cards that you want to use as, as, decor, as decor, definitely do that because that will save you some money as well. Oops, that was noisy. The next thing is another little decor item that I made. So this was a bag that I picked up at the Dollar General. So I took the bag and I cut it and then I put it into a frame. So as you can see it's on a frame. And then I took some of that buffalo check ribbon and I put it at the top and the bottom to kind of frame it off a little bit better. So I don't know if you can be able to see it without a glare on here. Hopefully there's not too much of a glare. So there's what it looks like. It's just in a cute little black frame. Again, easy, cheap way to decorate your house without spending a lot of money on different pictures and stuff that you want to use for your house. Then I have probably one of my favorite things that I found. This is the little red truck plates. So I have been searching high and low for these. They're really tiny. When you first get these, let me see if I can find one here. When you first get these, I used to think when I saw everybody hauling these where it says cookies for Santa. Do you see where it says over here in the corner it says cookies for Santa? That's just a sticker. So that peels right off. Once you peel that off, then you've got just this little plate right here once you've washed it up. And these are microwave and dishwasher safe, so they're so cute, but they're small, so they're going to go perfect with the little um, mugs that I have. So this I'm going to put in the dessert area because I think they'll be perfect for that dessert area with the little coffee cups. Make yourself a cup of coffee and have a piece of, dessert, of cake or cookies or whatever you want. So I'm just so happy to have those. And they're nice and glass, so they're really nice. The other thing I got from Kohl's are some more plates. So I'm going to use these as dinner plates. They're not as heavy duty as those because they're glass. These are made of melamine, so they're plastic, but it'll be good because if you drop your plate, no big deal. It's not going to break. So these were $5.99 a piece, but I know that I paid like $2 for them. So these have the little red car with the little doggy driving and then the snow and the snow, I mean the tree on top. So these are nice though. These are really big. So I'll show you in comparison. So this is going to be better for a dessert plate and this is going to be better for a dinner plate in my opinion. So that's what I'm going to use for our dinner plates even though they are plastic. I can make them look fancy once we put all the other stuff around them. People are not going to realize that we're using plastic plates. It's probably better than what I normally do anyway. Normally I just go get some paper plates and say hey throw it away when you're done. The next thing is from the hardware store. So I picked up two flags from the hardware store because I wanted some outdoor flags to use. We have the little garden flags, but then we also have the big ones. I haven't found big ones that have the red truck on them yet, but I did find some two of the garden ones. The first one, let me take it out of the bag. It's going to be easier to see. Um, here we go. Oh, pull this stuff off. So the first one looks like this. Isn't this so cute? It's so festive looking. It says home for the holidays. Everything is three dimensional. The dog is three dimensional and he's got fuzzy little ears. The little bow, everything is three dimensional on here. So I love the detail to this little flag. I think it's super cute. So I cannot wait to hang this outside with all my Christmas decor outside as well. So I love that. The next one is another red truck one, but it's Actually, we have two. I have three here. I didn't realize I bought three. <laughs> I guess I bought more than I did. I'm like, what the heck? What did I do here? So this one is just a typical regular flag. These, like I said, I bought them on a local hardware store. So you're, I don't know how I would link these or anything because I'm not sure where else you could find them. But this one looks like this. It's not really the red truck, but it's like a little camper. It's the little red camper. It says Christmas trees on this side. And then it says over here, it says Mary, and it's got a snowman. So it's got two different little designs on here. I just think it's so cute, but it's a typical flag. It's nothing real fancy about that one. The other one I just dropped is down here. And this one is really cute as well. Let me pull it out. So this one has the reindeer, or not the reindeer, but the deer driving the truck and it says joy on the back and the truck it's like a truck van i don't know it reminds me of scooby-doo for some reason so here's what it looks like it says tree lot at the bottom and again it's just, just a typical flag it's nothing real fancy to it but 
again I have a lot of little garden flags outside so I know I have some areas that I can use to decorate these with and then the last thing I'm going to leave you with is something else from the Dollar Tree so there's not a whole lot of red truck stuff left at the Dollar Tree unfortunately but I did find these so these are some little gift tags so they're like little cards so they flip open so you can write your message inside of them and stick this onto your package but at the bottom here as you'll see it does have a little red truck so I picked up two of these I think they're really cute and you get how many do you get in here 18 of them so you get two little red trucks because there's one on the back and then one on the front so you get two of those for a dollar for 18 of these I think that's a good deal and they look really pretty so I think they'll be perfect to use to decorate my presents so anyway that is my second part to my red truck haul the next part that i'll show you guys will be mostly also wait i almost forgot i do also have a tree that i picked up at lowe's and it's not red truck but it looks like it goes perfectly with the theme i'll throw in a picture of that and also i have a red truck that i purchased from lowe's and it's just got the it's a metal red truck and it's really big so i'll insert a picture of that as well so i'll insert those two pictures they're really cute they're big though so i could bring the, them down here with me to show you but the next haul that I share with you guys is going to be more of the things that I'm making for the red truck stuff. So some of these things that you see me haul, we're going to be, I'll show you them made. Some of them I will be making with you guys. So hopefully I can get those videos up pretty quickly. So I will be working my hardest to work on those. So anyway, I'd love to know what you think of all the things I got. If you have any questions, let me know because I've definitely can answer them hopefully for you and again there's some items I can link for you like like Cole's items I can link for you guys below in the description box so anyway thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I'll catch you guys later